Oh good, Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. It's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the Army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I courted a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for junker use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL-capable, 
so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Now departing for the abandoned factory. My first day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered a suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean-Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution. What the? It's Little John. Little John? Yes, Jean-Jacques Gibson's personal navigator.
Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Now making 
Making incision in John's stomach to analyze organic compounds present. Analysis complete. Results on the display. Results of the analysis indicate the organic compounds are primarily composed proteins that have been exposed to digestive acids for approximately three hours. Amino acid structure of the protein suggests the meat is that of a buffalo. Buffalo meat? We're getting out of here! Sorry, I cannot go with you! What's wrong with you? Hurry it up! I am incapable of locomotion! What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker headquarters.
We've returned to Junker Headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the Chief is waiting for you. This is the Chief's office. Well, Seed, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. Medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez, it looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. And what was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. Junker has returned. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. I really... You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry! What kind of backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better Junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? A 
of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip. I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. You an investigator too, huh? Can't trust him. All right, let's have the password. The password? Napoleon? Well, let's keep this short, okay? A snatcher sees me here and I'll be the next one eliminated.
The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe.
Very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Jean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Steed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Steed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina. You're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation.
Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen, causing throat pain and sneezing. 4. Possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, Snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, Snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin, which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A snatcher, maybe. Katrina, you stay here. Just a crow. Stupid bird. You were such a gentleman. Don't come back either. <laughs> 